Welcome to section 2.2, Theme Settings. Let's learn how to change the theme settings in our Moodle course. Please keep in mind that when you change theme settings, it's a global change. So if you want to make specific settings and customizations, you can do that as well. But we'll be addressing those things later. Right now we're working with global settings. So let's start with our, in our landing page, our first home page. And let's scroll down to Site Administration. And notice that we are going to be looking at Appearance. And then we go to Appearance, we go to click on Themes, and here we have Theme Settings. So if you go to Theme Settings, this is what it looks like. And again, the path is Home, then Site Administration, Appearance, Themes, Theme Settings. Now let's scroll down and look at the default settings for all the different elements. There's theme list, theme designer mode, default is no. Now let's look at all the, the defaults that are no. Allow th user themes, course themes, category themes, changes in the URL, users to hide blocks, blocks to use the doc. The reason that we say no in all these is that you don't really want everybody to have the opportunity to change the themes for each course. If you are developing a theme for branding purposes, you want to make sure that there's some continuity and uniformity in the appearance. If you want to do changes, custom changes across the, all your courses in a global way, here's a place to put your CSS. And also, here's another really, really critical element, enable device detection. Yes, if you want responsive websites, and you want to be able to make sure that your course looks good, tablet, smartphone, make sure that you enable device detection. So if you get lost, you can go to Moodle.org and search. You can go directly to Moodle Docs and Theme Settings. We're in 2.6. You can scroll down and go into a more detailed explanation of the different elements and each option. So these are really, really good opportunities to know a little bit more about the settings. And at this point, you'll have significant flexibility to go into the customization here and also when you do your theme selection. So let's, now we've looked at the settings, let's move forward and look about how to actually select the themes. And so we'll talk about that in our next section. Thank you.